and welcome back to the Whoopi Studio. Today, I am going to be recapping and reviewing Fuller House Season 5, Episode 17, and it is called Something Borrowed. I love this episode. One of my favorites of the, um, of the series, or of the second half of the season. It's definitely my number one favorite um, so far. Now, of course, the um, last episode is going to beat it, but it's my number one so far. So it'll be second or third place overall, but it was a really good episode. So let's go ahead and get into it. First of all, I have a couple quick announcements to make. Number one, I'm trying to reach 100 subscribers by the end of July, and that is just a little bit over a month. So if you pl if you enjoy the videos I do, if that's Fuller House, Star Wars, or any other ones, I'm going to be introducing new content on my channel coming up this summer. So yeah, please, please, please subscribe, because I would really appreciate it. It'll just help my channel grow, and yeah. So, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. Let's go ahead and get into the episode. Okay, so a lot happened in this episode, and I mean a lot. Definitely a bunch of different things going on. Even though there's only two main things, I still really like the episode. So let's go ahead and start off with the top. So Kimmy, Fernanda, Ramona, and Stephanie, Jimmy, and Danny, two different places, and they're moving after the wedding. And this part definitely got me sad because it, it was like a repeat of like the end of season one all over again when they were going to move out, you know? And now, luckily, they're staying. So, um, you know what? It... it I really liked, I really, um, now of course I'm kind of upset, but we all know what happens at, at the finale, but it, it was kind of upsetting just to see that, you know, but I guess later on we kind of see what happens, and I'll actually talk about that in my finale review, because that will be a very packed review, but it was kind of sad to hear that news, so come down below you what you thought of this moving news between those people. Okay, so let's talk about something borrowed, so the wedding is coming up, and throughout the second half of the season... Specifically, we have seen wedding vibe things so far in three episodes. The first one was the engagement party by Joey in episode 10. The second one was the wedding expo party, which I really liked. The wedding expo thing in episode 11. And then we got to see, last episode, the um, uh, the nearly wide game hosted by Jackson, Max, and Ramona. And there was, like, the college tours, and there was, like, the sandwich eating contest. And there was that episode with, like weird things going on in episode 15, and those were, like, the ones that I was a little bit iffy on, Maybe just, mainly just because they felt so separated from the main plot, which is planning for their wedding. Now, the college tours was necessary, I don't understand, and the, like, and the sandwich eating contest was fun. It was just a little bit unrelated to, like, the main plot preparing for the wedding. It would have been cool to see a different wedding, like, planning thing for each episode. So, like, it, it, there was, like, a different setting, like, maybe it was, like, a, I don't know, like, a I don't know. But, you know, it was kind of disappointing that we did not get to see a bachelorette party. I mean, is that, I think that's a thing, like a bachelorette party. I'm not really sure. But I'm not, I don't, I'm not, I'm not old enough to actually attend one of these parties. But I thought it was, I thought it was still cool how we got to see, um, something borrowed. And, um, yeah. So that was my little rant about the previous episodes. And you can go check out the full ones in those episodes, mainly 14 and 15, because those were the weird episodes. So good, but a little bit weird. So pretty much they come across their mom's wedding veil. And I feel like something that they just haven't mentioned a lot through the series is, like, what's what really happened with the mom? Now, of course, they said that she died in a car crash, but I just really like these references. And I'm glad we got one of these and how they, she, Stephanie decided for it to be her something borrowed. And DJ and Kimmy, like, chose, like, I think a necklace and something else. But I like how they were all things of, um, their moms. So, I did really like it. I, I did like how their mom can bring some legacy. And I'm glad that they were able to incorporate that into this something borrowed activity. Because I like how they did a full episode on the something borrowed between the three girls, and they had the bachelor party, because this this is the kind of thing I wanted to see all season. I wanted to see strictly wedding stuff, because I felt like the things that they put in the, like, the again, the college chores was necessary, okay? The college chores was necessary. But, like, episode the things that happened in episodes 14 and 15, I think that those could have been pushed back earlier in the season, like in the first half. Now, of course, we got to see Uncle Jesse and one of them, so that was fun, but... 
I was just talking about just different storylines that I wish were put in the first half of the season because they're waiting for so late in the game, it feels like. Like, this episode could be a strictly crazy wedding planning day, you know? But, like, I, although it was a really good episode, and I'm, I just wish that they did, did it a little bit earlier on in that thing. But pretty much, they all decided to use something on their moms, and I really liked that. That was really, really sweet. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the bachelor party. So this was... I, I like this storyline, too, because I love seeing, while well, I love seeing all the girls hanging out, it's totally different when all the guys hang out, because we saw this, and we saw kind of, like, the same thing in the first half of the season, that, like, Matt hosts a Do Nights, Do Nights In, and Gia goes along with the girls to the thing, except the girls aren't on a party, they're on a search, but it was it was really fun to um see that, and Steve turned out to be really good at this darts game, and this guy comes up to him. Overall, I loved that. I loved the storyline, and I loved how it just adds some comic relief because we got to see something that we d didn't know Steve was like good at. So I'll actually talk a little, a little bit about more of that when I get to my episode awards. Um, but I was not expecting him to be that good at that darts game, it, and I like how that his like little wife or like sidekick gave Jimmy the little like wink, and I just thought that was funny. I love how there can be. The like just games like this without something serious happening. It just it's just really funny, and I laughed. One of my favorite parts about this little thing was um, maybe my favorite part actually. So pretty much, Steve kept hitting right on target, and this guy comes over and he's really jealous because apparently he's the one. And this is almost like the sandwich or anything, except this is way more entertaining because it's actually adults than like the Berkowitz versus Ramona sandwich eating contest off or whatever it's called. Um, and what was funny is that like, look, I'll, he's like, look, I'll miss just to maybe like bring like the hate off him a little bit. And of course we knew that he would make it, but it was just funny to see, like to see that. I love how like when things go the opposite way of what you want and how it can be done in a really fun manner and it can be done in a really boring manner too. But like, this is a, this was really fun to just see this little sequence with the guys and you know what? I'm glad that Matt was there, too, because I feel like Matt just adds some good joking and comic relief to the mix. And, of course, like, all three of them are have, are funny in their own way. Steve's the most serious, Jimmy's a goofball, and Fernando is funny in an interesting way. But overall, all three of them are good, but I feel like Matt is, like, the, the chill kind of uh, funny, you know? I feel like Fernando is always, like, he's a little bit strange, you know? I guess that's what I would say. He's just a little bit different. Jimmy is, like, a total funny... And Steve's just more serious. He makes his own jokes. But Matt is, like, the guy who makes a lot of jokes, but he's just so laid back. With, with like, Jimmy and Fernando, like, they're not... I mean, Jim... Uh, Fernando's more laid back, but Jimmy's, like, so upfront with it, you know? So, that was my opinion on that thing. So, there's a couple more things I want to talk about. First of all, uh, the Michelle mention. And I love the Michelle mentions. The I mean, the biggest one is where they called her at the end of um season one, and... We knew that she wasn't going to answer, but it was kind of fun to still mention her back. And, of course, we didn't get to see her for the wedding, but I'll talk a little bit more about that episode next episode because I'll have a big rant about it. Um, but So pretty much it's something like Michelle left her bike here and DJ and Kimmy's like, when's Michelle going to come and get her bike? Because if she hasn't come to get it, get it yet, she probably never will. And she looks at the camera and breaks the fourth wall. And they do a lot of breaking in the fourth wall when it comes to the Olsen twins uh, or Michelle. And uh, that, I, I really like that. I feel like it just adds, like, some good laughter, and it reminds us about the whole thing. And I'm not sure what, like, the Olsen twins are feeling right now, if they actually watch this and they hear uh, their references to their thing. I don't know. Also, I love them singing Buttercup at the end of the episode in the diner. It was so fun just to see the family come together, and their significant others were there. Overall, I really like that. So let's go ahead and get into the episode awards. So uh, my favorite moment were the mom and Michelle getting mentioned again because it feels like the mom definitely is something that they just don't really talk about, and I understand that it's a sore subject. And Michelle, I like how it's funny, but I was almost kind of wishing that we got the full backstory on Michelle, because all I know is that she's a fashion designer in New York. So I kind of wish that we got to see a little bit more of that backstory. In next episode, I'll talk about some things that I want, I want that I would want to see in Season 6, if we know it's not going to be a thing, but if there was, I would talk about it, you know? So I like that there were those references. So my favorite characters are the three girls and the four guys. And I really did enjoy, um, I really did enjoy, like, that sequence, that sweet sequence right there. It was a lot of fun just to see, like, you know, them come together. The most shocking moment is Steve being good at that darts game. 
and overall grade is an A. It was such a good episode. And one more thing, this wasn't as big, but because I feel like there's a lot of other things going on. But Ramona and Jackson, um, Ramona and Jackson, they do. Uh, there's like a little school play, not a big storyline, but pretty much Jackson fakes being uh, s- sick again. And um, what's funny, it, you can see how Ramona and Jackson really care for each other. And I really appreciate that they added this little thing in because for one time we don't get to see them butting heads, and we, we they shared a couple hugs. But now we got to actually see a scene between the two of them. And they think of each other as siblings. And I was like, well, I'm, I've been waiting for this. Because you can kind of tell from the minute that they moved in, something they were eventually going to reveal this to each other. And it wasn't this episode. Sorry I didn't write this down. I kind of overlooked it. Because um, I felt like it was kind of small in a way. I mean, Ramona would have had to do the play. And they didn't even show the play. And I was kind of disappointed in that. But, oh well. Okay. So, yeah, pretty much, um, that was, that was the episode. I really liked it, and from the Ramona and Jackson thing, which I'm sorry I didn't write down, but there actually wasn't enough room to write it down because I had so many things written down, um, to, um, you know, the bachelor party and the mom's looking, and I, overall, I really liked this episode, and the Michelle mentioned, the mom mentioned, and... Uh, pop and the singing at the diner. It was overall, it was a really, really fun episode. And I'm so excited to see the, to, I've already seen the finale, but I'm so excited to talk to uh, about it with you guys. Anyway, so, come on, please subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you never miss an upload, because I really appreciate all the support I can get. Again, I'm trying to reach uh, 100 subscribers by the end of July. I know we can do it, so please just push that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Anyways, I want to thank everyone for watching Wimby Studio. Stay tuned for more videos to come, and 